sound check, sound check, sound check. Okay, I hear the sound check. <coughs> Good morning, good morning, everybody who's in the building. I can't see everybody just yet, but um, I know it's been a while since I did a live on uh, Facebook, but I wanted to come to Facebook and uh, uh, to share this story with y'all. If y'all even seeing me, do y'all hear me? Oh. Hold on. Let me know y'all can see me and y'all can hear me. Can y'all see me? Can you hear me? Because for some reason it's telling me. It's telling me ain't nobody in the room, but I see quite a few y'all in the room. So, uh, okay, I see the thumbs still going across the screen, but why is it? Okay, now it's telling me some people in the room. So, can you hear me? Can you see me? What up, Deidre? I ain't seen you in a minute. Can y'all hear me? Can you see me? Good morning, Joe. How you doing? Somebody give me a yay or nay. Can y'all hear me? Okay, Joe said loud and clear. Joe said loud and clear. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, y'all know how I do it. Let's get right into it. The Chris Thorne Show, live on Facebook. All right, all right. As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you watch my content. As always, you know, hey, like, comment, follow, um, friend me, or however you do it. Since we on the uh, Facebook side, so I had to say a little different versus the YouTube side. Again, like I said, I know it's been a while since I did a live on Facebook, so uh, I wanted to take bring this story over to the Facebook side, and I will share it over to YouTube uh, a little later. So YouTube. Uh, I will upload it to my channel or I may do it as a premiere on the YouTube side you know however you know YouTube you will get to see it if you can't see it now because I did leave a, 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 a post saying that I am going live so you know you should be able to come and see it you know hey Shanice how you doing I see your name just popped up so you should be able to come you should be able to come and see it because if I'm not mistaken, you don't have to follow me in order to see my content. You should be able to just click the link and come right on in and enjoy yourself. Now, uh, from the YouTube people, you do click the link. I'm not sure you could comment or not unless you're already on YouTube. I mean, damn, unless you're already on Facebook. So I don't know how it works, you know. So I'm still learning a little stuff about Facebook uh, myself. But however, though... Uh, if y'all don't mind, you know, share it out so you can bring more people in so they can come in and see what I'm talking about. Uh, hey, Donald, what's going on? Donald Boyd in the house. Bowden, Bowden in the house. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have a question. And uh, thanks for Darcy for sending me this story. If your mom faked your death, I'm pretty much sure I know how you would feel about it. But is this something that you would give your mom a pass for, for her actions? Regardless of what, you know, whether she's strung out on drugs or whatever, you know, if your mom faked your death for a financial gain or just did this period, could you give her a pass for what she has done? Oh, I guess the more appropriate question would be, what would be your actions toward what she has done? Because that's your name that she put out there but she's giving a false narrative that you her daughter or a son has passed away when you are very much alive you know so i think they would leave a bad taste in my mouth if my dad or my mom ever did me like that they would leave a serious bad taste in my mouth to do that and make money off my name when you know i'm not dead all right to, what up, Dylan? What up, Chris? To make money off my name, and you know I'm not dead. I think that's disgusting. 
and it would be a long time before I even let them words, I forgive you, come out of my mouth if you had done this to me. So I tell y'all what, let me show y'all better than I can tell y'all. I'm trying not to stay on here alone. I want y'all to peep this out. Real talk. Peep this out. Oh, damn. What'd I just do? A celebration of life meant to mourn the death of 21-year-old Brittany Jamise Webster. They had pictures of me blown up into posters that said, uh, you know, rest in peace, Brittany. And um, my aunt eventually had obtained one of the obituaries. This obituary says Brittany finished her story on October 27, 2018. She was called to meet all the loving animal babies on the other side of the rainbow. I was, I don't know, I was kind of like stunned. Like, it was a whole rush of emotion. The only problem is Brittany is very much alive and living nearly three hours away from where her mother held her memorial service. My brother actually died and here my mom is faking my death. You know, I was upset, but I was, I was angry. But more than anything, I was sad. The memorial service was held at the Ferguson Heights Church of Christ on November 10th, complete with a solo, remarks, and a repass. The church's rep said they had no idea the service was a sham. She claimed that I died in a car accident, and then the next day, someone had pulled out in front of me, and I slammed my brakes, and I spun out three times, and I, you know, all I could think was, I'm gonna die. My mom was speaking my death. Brittany, who was raised by her grandparents, says she believes her mother's motivation was greed. I apologize mm. um, for her actions. You know, it's messed up. <laughs> but, you know, she ended up scamming you guys out of some money to, you know, try, just trying to make you feel bad. Brittany took her frustration to her mother, who she says has a history with drug abuse. What's wrong with you? Hey, T. my death, but she hasn't even looked at the message or anything. What scares her the most is that she has no idea where her mother is. What up, Cherie? I see you in a bit. What's going on? And if you haven't hit that like or whatnot, please do so. Uh, first of all, I want to say this to uh, Miss Brittany. Brittany, you don't have to apologize for nothing, baby. I mean, that's the, those were the actions of your mom. They didn't have anything to do with you. So, me personally, you don't have to apologize for anything. Don't feel like you owe us any obligations, all right? Unless it comes out later that you was part of the scam, then I can understand you apologizing. But considering you didn't know nothing about this, you don't have to apologize for anything. You, you really don't. I hate that this happened to you. I think it's sad that this happened to you. I think it's disgusting that this has happened to you from your own mother doing this bullshit on a child. Now, y'all heard what she said. She said that her brother died for real. Okay? So why is you putting this wish death on top of my head when you know I'm still alive? You understand? And again, I had to ask you people. How would you feel if your mom or your dad did this to you? Regardless of what the circumstances are, how would you feel if they did this to you? Oh, I'll be salty as a bitch. I will. I'll be salty as fuck. And I don't give a damn what nobody say. Don't come to me with that bullshit talking about that's your mama. I don't give a fuck. I'll be salty as fuck if I find out my mom or my dad did any of this shit. And for financial gain, and then on top of that, will make it worse. You probably didn't even give me none of the money either. But then again, I probably wouldn't even accept no money like that because to me, that's blood money. You did some dirty shit. You went to the low of festivity to put shame on my name just to get some money or whatever habit you trying to get fixed. Preach. So, I'll be salty as fuck. I be salty as fuck. Real talk. So again, Miss Brittany, if you watch this, you know, hey, you can reach out to me. You can holler at me. But you ain't got to apologize for nothing, baby. You you really don't. You ain't got to apologize for shit. This is not your fault. And again, I think it's disgusting that this has happened to you. Very disgusting that this has happened to you. I will put this on my own worst enemy to have somebody fake their death. 
I won't put this on my own worst enemy. All right? That's fucked up. What your mom did is fucked up. There ain't no way around it. It ain't no way to sugarcoat it. You know, maybe you're a woman that's easily forgiven. I don't know how you feel about it. Actually, you know, because I see you were smiling while you was doing the video. So maybe you ain't taking it as hard as any other person would have. You're probably not taking it as hard. But me personally, hey, I'd be salty as fuck. Or maybe you're just a person who had they, they emotions like I do a lot of times. Maybe you had your emotion. You really live it in the inside about what she has done to your name. Because again, to me personally, that's wishing death on you, baby. To be honest to me, that's wishing death on you. And then plus you lost a family member. And get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> uh, Mahogany said crazy. That's why I'm crazy and sad. I wouldn't be able to talk to my old family. Who knew the truth? Thank you. And see, and this is another thing. I'm glad you said it, Mahogany. This is another thing. How did the church not know that this was a sham? That's what I'm curious about. How did they not know that this was a sham? Nobody bombed a body. Nobody had a body in the casket or whatnot. You know, so, but I'm not a more or whatnot. So I don't know exactly how it works as far as having a body and not having a body. But to the fruit funerals I have been to, there is a body in the casket. So how did the church would, did not know that this was a sham? Now I'm curious about that. I'm really curious about that, real talk. I'm very curious about that. How did they not know? How did they not know? Wow. And you know what? And another sad thing, people, 2018 been a motherfucker. I'm anticipating what 2019 for them bring. 2018 was a motherfucker. 2019, whew, ain't no telling what it's finna bring. If you got people doing fuck shit like this, going this low, man, just imagine what we got yet to come. Just imagine what we got yet to come. So check this out. She says, um, they had pictures of me blown up into posters that said, rest in peace, Brittany. And my aunt eventually had obtained one of the obituaries and see pictures of it said Brittany Johnson Webster. This obituary said Brittany finished her story on October the 27th, 2018. She was called to meet all the loving animal babies on the other side of the rainbow. I was kind of stunned. It was a whole rush of emotion, said Johnson Webster. She said she lives nearly three hours away from her mother. Excuse me. She lived three hours away from her. Her mother had a memorial service in Ferguson, Missouri. And again, right here she said, my brother actually died and here my mom is faking my death. You know, I was upset, I was angry, but more than anything, I was sad. She said. The memorial service was held at the Ferguson Heights Church of Christ on November 10th, 2018, complete with a solo Listen to this, y'all, with a solo, remarks, and a repass. The church representative said they had no idea the service was a sham. Again, I have a problem with that. How did, how did nobody know this? This woman had a solo. She had remarks and she had a repass. The repass is where everybody goes sit around and eat. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's supposed to be more to this. I, I don't. I know it's supposed to be more to this. Hold on. Let me. Let me go back to Facebook. It's more to this story because I read something that the mom was on drugs or may have been on drugs or something like that. So 
So let me see what I can find. All right, maybe I can use this right here. So let me um, let me minimize this. Let me bring this over here. All right, maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll work. Uh. So, all right. The Daily Mail gives you the breakdown. It says right here the unnamed mother of Brittany held a celebration of life memorial service for her daughter on November the 10th. Uh, point number two, she claimed her daughter who lived three hours away in the noise died in a car accident on October 27th. Point number three, Brittany learned that her mother faked the devil at the scene the obituary. Point number four, she believes her mother was scamming people for monetary donations. Hold on, claim that Brittany was killed by orphanage services. It's kind of stunning the whole rushing emotion. She added that she was upset by my ass, especially because of Brittany's brother previous past. My brother actually died and here my mom is faking my death. You know I was upset, I was angry, but more than anything I was sad. A full memorial service was held at the Ferguson Heights Church of Christ complete with speeches about Brittany's life and repast. A church representative said they were given no hint that the whole death was fake. Brittany suspects her mother who has suffered from drugs. There we go, I knew it was something. Said her mother who has suffered from drug addiction came up with the plot to scam people for money. The service was funded by donations and Brittany has apologized to all those who were duped. I apologize for her actions. It's messed up, but she ended up scamming you guys out of some money, you know, just trying to make you feel bad, she said. She claimed I died in a car accident and the next day someone had pulled out in front of me and I slammed on my brake and spun out three times and all I could think was I'm going to die. My mom speaking on my death into existence Brittany said, Brittany sent her mother a message but has not heard back and fears for her mother's safety. Fear for her mother's safety. All right. Now, I want to touch on this before I end the show. Her mother suffered from drugs, she said. Let me get, let me say her words verbatim. What did she say? Oh, uh, I had a repass. Brittany suspects. Well, she said she suspects her mother Okay, damn, I don't think I want to do. Anyway, she suspects her mother who has suffered from drug addiction came up with a plot to scam people for money. I want to touch on that before I get out of here. That comes from one of the questions, with the question, same question that I asked. Could you forgive your mom or your dad for doing this, even though, let's just say you knew they suffered for drugs? Could you say, well, she's suffering from drugs, so, you know, I could just let this pass, you know, because I know drugs can fuck with people in different ways. Some people probably say, yes, I can let her pass. What are brother sites? Some people say, yes, I can let her pass. And you haven't hit the like, please hit the like. And all that good stuff. And you can share it later on. 
Some people probably say, yes, I can give her a pass when she did because she struck out on drugs. Some people probably say, no. Some people probably say, it depends. Me personally, I'm going to say no. I still could forgive her even though she was on drugs. Let me explain to you why. Any addict has common sense enough to know to plot stuff to get their next fix. So they got common sense to plot to get their next fix. The next fix. Is it fair to blame the drugs as a cop out as to why she did it? Nope, because she knew how to run this scam to get money for the next fix. Now, one thing I had learned about junkies, and I'm pretty much sure y'all have too. Now, I call her mama junkie, but then again, maybe it is what it is. One thing I learned about them, they got common sense to know what to do to get money. If they sitting in front of a store begging for 50 cents a dollar or a quarter, or they sitting in the parking lot of a bank, or hell, even if they just sitting out there holding a sign talking about what they'll do for money, even if you got street walkers who may be addicted to medication, know how to play the game to get money to get their fix, even to the point to where they will kill you for it. So if you got common sense to know to do that, to get your fix, then how can I use that as a scapegoat and say, well, I could let her pass because she's strung out. Nope. 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 Mahogany, good deal. I like what you said right there. Good deal. Mahogany said, I believe there's more to the story. This makes me wonder, was the mom upset with the daughter? It's more than just drugs, in my opinion. That's a good insight, Mahogany. Good insight. I Now that you brought it up, yes, I think it's more to the story. And Brittany may, be know, may know it's more to the story, but, you know, it's probably so much that she just wanted to share. Because maybe she's a young woman that don't want to tarnish her mom's name. And, and I get it, you know, a lot of women are attached with their mom regardless of what, and they just don't want to see them go down that rabbit hole. That's understandable. But is it worth your mom constantly tarnishing your names and especially putting something like this over your head? How much leeway can we give somebody if they constantly doing the same shit over and over and over and over and over again, how much can you forgive for somebody who constantly doing you dirty? So we can leave our friends alone. We can leave our girlfriends alone, fiancés or whatever, because they doing dumb shit to us. But just because that's your mother, we supposed to tolerate that? No. I say you treat it the same way. And my mama come constantly stealing from me and constantly doing this fuck shit and she gaining money for the fuck shit she doing off my name, tarnishing my name, harming my name, then I treat her just like everybody else. Until you get your shit together, I can't fuck with you. Because now I'm starting looking at you as suspect. Do you really want me dead? And if I stay around you long enough, are you going to do what it takes to kill me? And think you're going to get some money because of my death? Something you got to think about, people. Something you got to think about. I understand that's mama. I understand that's mama. But who says that because that's your mama, she's not ever wrong? That's bullshit if you think like that. And this mom did this girl wrong, very wrong. And it's probably the first time she did something so fucked up. Probably the first time she did this. But she probably done a lot of fucked up things to this young lady. But what she probably doing, she sucking it up. She eating it up. She eating it up. It ain't saying nothing. And again, like I said, I get it because most females are attached to their moms. They are attached to their moms and don't want to tarnish their mom's name. Because that's mama. 
But you notice, if a father did this, nobody would think twice. He'll be a deadbeat dad. Same name that his mom gave him if a dad pulled this. But since his mom, mom carried us for nine months, mom spit us out, we're supposed to look past this and get them a pass. Why I say, not in my book. Take it how you want. Not in my book. Neither one of them will get a pass if I find out ain't no one of them did this to me. Neither one of them will get a pass. As a matter of fact, down there ain't no coming back from this. If you did it to me, ain't no coming back from that. Just saying. I'm just saying. But again, Brittany, I say to you, dear. Oh, shit, my man D in the building. What up, D? I say to you, dear, you don't have to apologize for nothing. You don't have to apologize for nothing. And I hate that you feel like you have to apologize. This is not your fault. If anything, your mama owe you an apology. And she need to owe the people an apology who she got all their money from. That's why you can't find her because she got all their money and she knows she in trouble now. And that's sad. And that's very sad. That's very sad. So anyway, what say you good people? Who's going to watch this later on? How you take this? Are you forgiven enough to forgive your mom and your dad who did this to you? Or do you feel the same way I feel? You know, hey, I got to cut my ties until you get your shit together. How do y'all feel about this? And again, Brittany, if you see this, hey, you can reach out to me. It's all good. I love to talk to you. I love to talk to you about this because uh, nobody, no child should have to go through this. Nobody should have to go through this. You understand? Nobody. And your mom did, that, did a fuck thing to you. She did. And I even go so far as say this. If your mom is strung out, hopefully she she care enough about you and think about what she has done and go get herself cleaned up. And go get herself cleaned up for the sake of saving y'all relationships. But at the same time, like they always say, money is what? Money is the root to all evil. Best believe it when people say that. It's your man Chris Thorns. I'm out. Peace.